Good morning. This short talk is on distal sodium channel pain portal blocking and this terminology or phrase was coined by the authors to mark and name specific spots. Today, my short talk will be about beta 6 portal and shall focus on a hitherto undescribed method for managing fractures neck of femur and trochanteric fractures. <clears throat> the spot of beta 6 portal is adjacent to the femoral nerve in the inguinal region. The depth is subfarsal and a volume of 3 to 4 ml of either 0.5% xylocaine or a cocktail is introduced. This is an excellent portal for emergency management of fractures and pain management in trochanteric, subcapital and associated fractures, whether operated or treated conservatively. In fractures treated ergonomically, the effect will last for four to five days and the blocks have to be repeated. The drawing besides me is showing you the correct spot for infiltration of 0.5% xylocaine. A undisplaced, stable intertrochanteric fracture, which would otherwise have been fixed with either DHS or a PFN. You can see that the block and walk philosophy, how rapidly the fracture unites, and in a very short while, in this case, exactly two and a half months, the fracture had united fully. Another example of a stable trochanteric fracture treated just with block and the patient encouraged to walk has a fantastic union in 65 to 70 days sans complication. The paradigm is if the fracture won't displace or the shortening will be acceptable, we give a block and ask the patient to walk with the walker. If the patient is unstable fracture, which will result in large amount of shortening or unacceptable deformity, we give traction. You can see a valgus impacted char neck of femur in this X-ray, treated by block and calcitonin puffs. And you can see in 45 days the union. Here is another trochanteric fracture where the patient accepted shortening. And you can see the X-ray at three months shows abundant amount of callus. This patient had a 2.5 centimeters or roughly one inch of shortening, as you can see from the picture. However, the patient is functionally extremely happy. He is not even desirous of a true raise and is comfortable using an Indian toilet. Another four part trochanteric fracture. The patient was walking from third week and was fully functional at the end of three months without the complications of surgery or anesthesia. One more patient, you can see the X-ray above me and the one beyond me, beside me, where you can see that the fracture is united beautiful. This is an example of a fresh fracture and you can see the extreme pain in which the patient is. The limb is in a deformed position and the patient anesthetically unfit and moribund. And here, he is besides you with a pillow underneath him and groaning in pain. The spot for beta 6 block is identified and the injection goes to the subfascial level of depth and 4 to 5 ml is given. Away laterally to the femoral nerve and once injected, the patient gets so dramatically pain-free that the surgeon can comfortably move the limb and uh, move the hip and you can see that the patient is pain-free, comfortable and allowing the surgeon to put traction. Traction can be of 
either a skeletal variety or a derotation boot depending on whether the patient is going to be admitted or going to be sent home if you have pulleys it is best to have a proper traction skeletal traction in wide abduction to ensure good reduction however if the patient is going to go home with traction on sand bags in on a wooden charpoy it is best to have a derotation boot to give neutral rotation a pillow between the hips for abduction and adequate weight you can see the x ray on my left is the fracture in varus and the effect of traction and how the fracture heals beautifully without nails plates dhs pfns or any other contraindic contraventions here in this you can see a reverse oblique subtrochanteric fracture again treated conservatively and the whole thing unites so beautifully one more case you can see a fracture standard oblique and this patient was allowed to walk from day one now what we do is we have to have a paradigm in which we decide whether the fracture is stable or unstable a stable fracture like this can be treated straight away by block and walk technology meaning we just give a block and makes the patient walk so as the patient blocks and walks his uh, problem gets united by compressive micro motion fractures like this which are combinated and there's a high opportunity or chance of the fracture becoming uh, deformed in varus and producing shortening has to be treated in valgus traction so that or a walking hip spica after valgus traction for 3 to 4 weeks so that the patient is comfortable here is a stable trochanteric fracture spica and the surgeon is guiding her and teaching her to walk in steps imagine this is a fresh fracture who has just been injected with a beta 6 block and here is a person who is a block and walk technology you can see the stable fractures do not do not need major interventions simple beta 6 block allows the patient to walk comfortably i have not changed the speed of the video so this is actual speed of walking which is rather slow but when you look at his face you can clearly understand that he does not have significant pain he is even smiling when he is walking and as we know from the principles of sarmiento chanli and wolf's law compressive linear micro motion always causes rapid union and introduction of distal sodium channel blocks is opening new vistas in pain management they are game changers in fracture management they are indeed revolutionary to help us to avoid surgery during corona times and a single injection makes the whole limb absolutely pain free and comfortable thank you very much and i hope that you have learned something today thank you